Hey, in this video, I want to share a composing tip with you in Logic Pro. I want to show you how you could notate for piano in the score editor and how to separate and assign notes into separate staves, just like you were notating it on pencil and paper. So first thing you got to do is open up the score editor. Uh, you could hold command and press five to get to the score editor. Go to Layout and click Show Staff Styles. The key command for that is to hold down Shift Control Option and press S. If you look at the bottom right corner of the Staff Styles window, you'll see a small window that says Assign. There's two different approaches to separating notes into separate staffs in the Score Editor in Logic. By default, Logic will assign a split point. This split point will determine which notes will be notated in the top staff and which notes will be notated in the bottom staff. By default, Logic will assign a split point for you. Basically, whatever note you choose for the split point will determine which notes get displayed on which staffs. If you select it on middle C, for instance, by default, Logic sets it to middle C. That means that the lowest note that will be displayed in the treble clef or the right hand will be middle C and then the highest note that will be displayed in the bass clef or the left hand will be the B right below middle C. The other approach is to assign separate MIDI channels for each staff. So in this case, the right hand is gonna be assigned to MIDI channel one and the left hand will be assigned to MIDI channel two. If you go back to the main window and you expand in the inspector window on your, on your piano track and you scroll all the way down to where it says staff styles, you could select that to piano so that when you record something, the score editor will automatically open it in a piano staff. There's two different approaches to inputting and editing notes into Logic Pro. The first approach would be playing it with two hands simultaneously. So I'm going to record a part with two hands simultaneously. So as you can see, by default, Logic interpreted that in the grand staff, which is what we set it for. But as you can see, um, Logic interpreted that in a way where both notes I played were just in the left hand, right? So that's incorrect because I I perform that with two hands. So one method that we could use to separate the notes into separate staves is to highlight all the notes that you want to split, go up to the tool selection, and you want to select the voice separation tool. You can use this in the, in the command click option or you can put this in the left click tool whichever one you want it's up to you now we will hold command and you're going to draw a line to separate the two lines that you want on separate staffs so now logic will separate both lines into two separate staffs for two separate hands and just like with the setting that we did earlier in the staff styles window in the assign window the top line, the notes in the top line are going to be in MIDI channel 1, and the notes in the left hand are going to be in MIDI channel 2. So that's one approach to doing this. The other approach is to record each hand individually. So I'm going to record my left hand first, and as, if you recall earlier, we assigned the left hand to MIDI channel 2. Now the only difference with this to the other approach is that you have to change your MIDI out channel on your MIDI keyboard. And now I'm just going to record the left hand by itself. Now I'm going to switch it to MIDI channel 1 for my right hand, and I'm going to change my MIDI out on my keyboard to MIDI channel 1. Now I'm going to record the left hand by itself.
So now that recorded it on the right hand in the treble clef. So you see how you can separate them and record them separately in order to get them onto the right staffs. Now the only difference with this is that you have to change the MIDI out on your keyboard and it takes a little bit longer because you have to record each hand individually, but you don't have to do the editing like we did with the first approach. The only thing I would also change is I would change the right hand to a bass clef. So then that would really be the best way for it to be displayed and notated for a musician to read. As a composer, you want to write music for people, right? You want to think about the musician, keep the musician in mind when you're composing for a particular instrument. I hope you like this video. Please like and follow and subscribe for more videos like this and film scoring videos and film composing tutorials for Logic Pro.